Hello all, welcome to the ANSYS tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you how to perform the 1D static stress analysis for a truss element. This is the given truss. We have 1, 2, 3 and 4 trusses. So initially we are going to model it using lines. Then we are going to do the analysis. Here we are asked to calculate the nodal displacement and element stresses. Open ANSYS workbench. So this analysis is a static structural analysis. So I'm going to choose static structural. I'm going to drop it here. The material, you can click edit material. So the predefined material is structural steel and its Young's modulus is 2 into e power 11 Pascal and the Poisson ratio is 0 0.3. This is same as the material property given in our problem. So I'm not going to change that. So I'm going to start with the geometry. So we have three planes. I'm choosing XY plane. And uh, I'm changing the unit because in the drawing it is given in millimeter. So I'm changing it to millimeter. First I'm going to model the element. So I'm choosing line. And I'm going to draw a horizontal line. And from this, a vertical line and a horizontal line, and then a diagonal element. Next, to mark the dimensions, go to dimensions. So, I am drawing everything in a single sketch because the cross section and material of the entire system is uniform. So, I am drawing everything in a single sketch. So you can mark the dimensions. So the H1 is given us 1000 mm in the drawing and V1 is given us 750 mm. So now I have completed the modeling. So you can click generate. Next I am going to convert the sketch into lines. So click lines from sketches. Select control and select all the elements and click apply then generate it now i'm going to define the cross section go to cross section the cross section is a circular its diameter is given its diameter is given as 24 so the radius is 12 mm click generate then i'm going to apply the circular cross section now close this. Next, I am going to create the mesh. So right click on the model, click edit. So I am not going to change the material. I am directly going to mesh and generate mesh. Okay. So now I can change the view orientation, go to display, select view and choose front view. Next I am going to apply the boundary conditions, go to static structural. So you can see the given problem, the truss is simply supported at these two vertex and it is roller supported at the second vertex. So I am choosing a simply support and choose the vertex picker and select here, click apply. Again I am going to simply support and selecting the vertex and click apply next i am going to apply the roller support here so go to supports and choose remote displacement pick this vertex click apply so now here we are going to define the displacements in x direction it is allowed to move freely so in the y direction and in the z direction it is fixed similarly rotation about z it is allowed to rotate so rotation about z is allowed free and rotation about x and y is fixed next i am going to apply the load so in the problem two loads are acting one is acting uh, at the node 3 it is in the negative y direction and another load is acting at node 2 in the positive x direction so first I am going to apply 
a force at this vertex so click apply and uh, I'm going to change the force to components and in the negative y direction I'm going to apply minus 12,000 Newton then again go to force and choose this vertex click apply change it to components and here in the positive x direction I'm going to apply 10,000 Newton now we can solve this next to view the results I'm going to insert deformation and directional deformation initially I'm going to take the x-axis deformation then I'm going to insert directional and y-axis deformation because I'm going to evaluate the deformation in x and y direction next I'm going to insert the beam tool to view the stresses so now right click on the solution and click evaluate all results and uh, the x-axis deformation so if you want to view the deformation at a particular point you can choose probe the x-axis deformation at this point is uh, 1.10 e power minus 4 and here it is 2.24 e power minus 5 and uh, the deformation in the y direction at this point is 0 because we have applied a support here and here it is minus 8.7 e power minus 5 then we can view the combined stresses also if you want to save the results then you can go to images select image to file and you can type stress similarly you can save all the results